Oh, I forget to test. You people tried, huh? What happened? Actually, different circuit alien is telling me that. If someone says yes, it is there. It looks so. If someone says it is not there. It's not so. Huh? You tried, huh? You can try, but no problem, lah. No. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, I think I'm far away. Say. <laughs> Right, right. Differ at the dog. Differ at the dog. Look at Differ at the dog. Okay, fine. Anyway, good. So we'll see. I too will try test with my kids. Okay. And uh, let me also try. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, so yesterday we just discussed about uh, different kind of movements: visible movement, invisible movement, and then uh, movement uh, locomotion, and then voluntary movements, uh, involuntary movements, and the importance of control and coordination system, and then uh, about the neuron, the structure of neuron. And uh, different parts of neuron and uh, their specific function. How neuron transmits impulses from one neuron to other neuron, and then how impulses are transmitted from one neuron to non-neuronal uh, cells like uh, muscle cell. Okay, so this is what we discussed yesterday. Uh, fine. And then of course there are different type of receptors. What are the different type of receptors we have in our body? Olfactory receptor. For what? For what? Olfactory for what? Smell. And then for taste, gustatory receptor. And uh, for light, photo receptor. For touch, sigma receptor. For sound, phono receptors or something. What did you say? So there are actually different type of receptors present in different kind of sensory organs. There are different kind of sensory organs with a special kind of receptors. Okay, not all the organs are having the same receptor. Not all the organs are having the 
same receptors in general okay they are predominantly for example with your nose can you sense the light no okay with your nose can you uh, means uh, hear sound no because that's different right okay now the next component of our nervous system reflex action what is reflex action reflex action in response to or you can say sudden action in response to i think this is what did i ask you to check the when we discussed did i ask you to find the definition for this no maybe some other class and good so what is reflex action sudden action in response to some kind of stimulations from the environment some external stimulation sudden action or sudden response to some kind of stimulation that is called what reflex action means which is faster than the thinking okay we do something without the thinking about it or without feeling in control of our reactions can you understand so it's a layman definition we do something without thinking about it even without feeling it or without the control of our actions we just do okay so that is actually a uh, reflex action and uh, examples you know well what are the examples you can give what are the examples for reflex action hmm that's a very known example and uh, Ah, uh, we close our uh, eyes. If something is coming here, what a way to demonstrate something! See, look at that. Okay, so that's a reflex action. Really, it happened now. Fine, good. Yeah, I would have tried then something, but you will be happy. It's my phone. Okay, good. So uh, she's alert. Ah, uh, prepared mentally prepared. Sure. Yeah. look at that okay fine good so that they are the examples of what that reflex action okay teach this to your parents today what is reflex action avangala bayam irutte you just teach them this is called a reflex action and uh, did you try the tasting uh, thing with your parents or uh, do you have any other elder uh, brother or sister younger 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 brother or sister no okay tata patti then Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, fine, good. So, uh, you should know about what is reflex action and the important thing. See, listen, listen. Next, the important thing is actually the reflex arc. What is called reflex arc? What is called reflex arc? Hmm. 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 So, what's the first component here? Your skin. Okay, the skin is the first component. Skin is having what? Receptor. Very good. Skin is having the receptor. Receptor, and then what comes? Hmm. Ah, the sensory neuron, and then spinal cord, and then actually relay neuron comes in, but forget about that, and then. of course relay neuron and then motor neuron and then effector organ and then response hmm? yes of course that's 
to the root actually it has to go to the brain it has to come but this part work is in the long root satido since here itself the relay neuron is present in the long root cutite ingave signals are getting processed so within the spinal cord that's what instead of going like this and here itself it is done can you understand so that's the main thing actually about reflex arc the pathway is it clear so this can activate it only with the stimulations what kind of stimulation heat or whatever okay some kind of stimulations whatever the actions like see she didn't pass anything just the fear itself made her to react something some kind of uh, stimulations is it clear you see something all of a sudden you uh, and I reacted to that is it clear fine so that's the reflex arc so all these components you should be thorough and uh, what do they do they just uh, shuffle shuffle this pattern and ask you to write okay rearrange all these things okay so that's yeah like the sequence they just change and then they ask you to you know rearrange reorganize uh, the proper order okay so that's very very important so you should know how to define reflex action and then you should know some examples of reflex action and then the pathway okay very very important so these are all the three important thing you should know from this particular chapter means area putty topic sub topic next the major portion is about the human brain is human brain how our nervous system is studied hmm hmm by different components let's check how many of them are there in the online uh koshik and vanget are you there yes sir yes sir okay 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 so nervous system how it is classified what are the different components central nervous system peripheral nervous system and then hmm autonomous nervous system can you understand this central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomous nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system consists of hmm look at that peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerves arising from the brain and spinal nerves arising from the spinal cord so cran nerves basically nerves there are cranial nerves and spinal nerves can you understand the organs which are there in your face directly connected to your brain from brain nerve comes and connects all the components and uh, spinal nerves the rest of the body is connected to the brain only through spinal cord so they are called what uh, Uh, spinal nerves. Can you understand? So that's peripheral nervous system and central nervous system. Central nervous system. Okay. Central nervous system consists of what? Brain and spinal cord. What is spinal cord? Yeah. Collection of nerves basically. Okay. So brain and spinal cord are actually. main components of central nervous system and then cranial nerves and spinal nerves are part of peripheral nervous system again autonomous nervous system 
consists of what? Sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Do you remember? In a dialogue book, you can see the differences. On table also, you can see that. Okay, so sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Can you understand? So that part you should know. Like uh, constriction and dilation of uh, increase, decrease. Constriction and dilation of uh, blood vessels, pupa, iris. So a lot of uh, things we discuss. Do you remember that? Fine. Good. Okay. Now, here what they are explaining in detail, apart from all these things, the parts of the brain. Okay. And what are the different parts of the brain? Fore brain, mid brain, hind brain. What are the technical terms of uh, fore brain, mid brain, and hind brain? Technical terms. Do you remember? No. Technical term for fore brain. Mid brain, hind brain. Pro, me, ro. Pro, me, ro. You can't remember? Prosencephalon is poor brain. Mesencephalon is mid brain. Rhombencephalon is hind brain. Can you understand? Prosen, cephalon, mesen, cephalon, rhomban, cephalon. They are the technical terms of forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Is it clear? Fine. Now, what are the regions of forebrain? Cerebellum, sorry, cerebrum and diencephalon. Okay, what are the things? Cerebrum, cerebrum and diencephalon. Diencephalon consists of thalamus, epithalamus. Do you remember? Epithalamus and hypothalamus. In epithalamus region, you have what? The limbic system. Can you understand? So, different parts. So, major part of the forebrain is what? Cerebrum. Okay. Uh, do you remember? Gyri, salsi. What is gyrus? Salcus. The folds and furrows which are present in the cerebral hemispheres. Can you see? Here you can see the folds. Can you see the folded parts? And then between the folded parts, you can see a gap. Can you understand? Can you see the gap here? Can you see the gap here? And of course, gap here, here, backside. So that gyrus and sulcus. Gyri and salsi are being so long. Is there in your yellow book? Please refer. Okay, sometimes they may ask. Okay, and uh, this is what? Uh, the largest part of the brain is what? Cerebrum. Okay, largest part of the brain is what? Cerebrum. Okay, and within that only a small region. See, below that only, in this region only, what is present? Uh, diencephalon, the red mark part. There only what present actually? Diencephalon. There it consists of what? Hypothalamus, epithalamus, limbic system, all everything. Can you understand? Thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, all these regions. Okay, four brain. Coming to the functions of the four brain. What are the main functions of the forebrain? The forebrain is the main thinking part of the brain. 
okay it is the thinking part of the brain then it can controls primarily controls voluntary action or involuntary actions voluntary action involves it involves what voluntary action involves what thinking appo it thinking part means it control what voluntary actions okay and also it has regions which receive sensory impulses from various receptor class it is our sensory system okay primary important type of sensory system like hearing smell and vision can you understand the hearing the smell and the vision all are connected by this can you understand so thinking part voluntary action and other sensory system all these things you can connect with what your uh, cerebrum fourth brain primarily fourth brain emotions are controlled by that uh, other hypothalamus of course and uh, diencephalon components emotions and especially the sexual emotions and all by your limbic system part of fourth brain limbic system is also part of fourth brain the emotions can you understand fine that's about the fourth brain how it uh, functions there are separate association areas vision association area hearing association area smell association areas are present in the brain for brain and then like uh, receptor receives the information transmits to that association area and then what their interpretation occurs and then like uh, um that information based on our previous experiences it is stored in the brain can you understand so first experience for example maybe when you are uh, a baby some good smell and uh, amma solvanga oh this is the smell of dosa or amma dosa soduvanga and the smell automatically avangalukku theriyum if amma is making some food from here you can see you you, you can know, oh i think amma is making this can you understand that smell itself based on your previous experiences that information is received and at first you do not know what it is and then you actually know because of your amma sollir panga or on your own you would have had some understanding so based on that that information is again processed is it clear <clears throat> and uh, okay decision interpretation occurs and if it is it is stored also and then as we saw the motor neurons like uh, involved in this sensory neuron now remember sensory neuron sensory organ receptor and then what sensory neuron brain integration okay in brain and then motor neuron okay the same thing in reflex action you do not involve brain but here you involve brain that's the main difference can you understand for the functioning of the fourth brain okay sensory organ and then receptor and then sensory neuron brain association area in the brain especially okay and then motor neuron okay and then like uh, the action response based on your stimulations can you understand so that's the main important thing movement of leg or whatever is it clear um, if i call you maybe someone is calling you from the back you receive the signal okay by your sensory organ stimulus is coming from that side okay and then it goes to your this is your sensory organ it has receptor then the sensory neuron and then your brain integration it tells what is the command it gives someone is calling just turn back and then to motor neuron it comes to your neck and then you just turn back is it clear so that's how this is the pathway okay 
uh, how your brain four brain controls your action in response to what uh, the stimulations external uh, stimulations is it clear fine so that's the main thing about the four brain like uh, when you hear uh, or see something and uh, such kind of uh, pathway happens in your body okay and also like uh, look at that um uh, ரொம்ப பசிக்கிறதோ இல்ல சாப்பாடு போதும் அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறதோ என்ன ஒரு பிரெயினோட ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் தான் கேன் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஐ ஃபீல் ஹங்க்ரி நோ இட்ஸ் ஃபுல் ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் எனி மோர் இல்லையா ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் வாட் யுவர் ஃபோர் பிரெயின் ஸோ கலெக்டிவ்லி என்னென்ன ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் லிஸ்ட் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஃபோர் பிரெயின் இஸ் த திங்கிங் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த பிரெயின் அப்புறம் இட் ஹேஸ் மெனி association centers for senses different kind of senses hearing vision smell and then for your emotions limbic system can you understand and how it is the like as we said the, the pathway is very important and then because of that only the voluntary actions like you move your hand or leg like, or any part of the body okay and then like uh, internally okay like uh, internal stimulations so what we saw all of these things hearing something looking into something and responding to that that's external stimulations also for brain receives internal stimulations and uh, reacts to that and integrates that also what are the internal stimulations here they are talking about your stomach will say i feel hungry the stomach will say no it's full i don't want to have more enough stop amma bodoro 20 idli enough amma i don't want more how many idli you have there let me how many idlis three okay yourself rohit three who will say no enough three ke mele vena nu unki yaar solva ha two or three who will tell Two is enough. Hmm? Stomach will tell. Okay, you know, uh, what is the maximum number of idlis you had in your lifetime? Five. Yes, sir? Four. Maximum number of idlis you tell is four. In your lifetime. Hmm? Yes, sir? Three. One of the ladies, just imagine myself. When I was in my college days, twenty plus at least. You do you remember? Means do you believe me? Twenty plus at least I will eat. Okay, and five at least for. I was there in Lyla Hostel by that time. Okay, Lyla Hostel. So five for sambar, five for chutney, five for sambar and chutney, and five for. oil and uh, the powder illaya idli powder oil endli enna podi idli podi illaya oil enna illa mix panni saapidu minimum idu da can you understand or vela konjam innu konjam add irukken feel ana one or two more okay so 20 plus idli when i was at laila and then uh, uh, puri How much you eat? Hmm. For me, me, I'll I'll take your twelve plus. So where I enjoyed Puri is, I was there at Hindustan College, working as a lecturer. I stayed in my hostel. There I had used to have Monday mornings. Okay, all Monday mornings. Okay, so Monday, na same menu, na. Uh. Hmm. Oh, Monday morning puri sa. Uh-huh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> you know, you know the see the reason for Monday morning puri is most of the hostel students will go for vacation means uh, Saturday Sunday leave. Very few people will be there on Monday. They will come late to the college on Monday. okay 
at least 50% of the students will not be there. So that time it is easy for the mess fellow to make a puri. Okay, so I will be there by that time and I have, uh, means uh, I will always take a 12 plus puri. Okay, and biryani at a time, 3 plus parcel, same time when I was uh, taking this one. Means, like, um, that's why now I am diabetic. Okay, that's why, that's why I am now diabetic. I love food, so I become diabetic, obviously. Yeah, so, means, now I reduced my intake of food. Now, every day, at least a minimum 6 or 7, 6 is my average. When I am going to college, on the box, I will pack the box. That's why 6 is now. I usually take. We will leave now, now. Take more means uh, my brain did not tell me like my stomach did not tell me this is enough this is more all these things maybe at the sun I think I would have not uh, listened to it yeah okay fine good anyway it depends upon the individuals also okay the metabolism the rate of metabolism basal metabolic rate they call it so what BMR what is BMR Basal metabolic rate. For me, 6-7 idli will uh, be digested within 1-2-3 uh, or two, three hours. 7.30 if I have my breakfast, 10.30 in Tirpi Pasi Edukko. Even with that uh, 6 plus idlis. Okay? But for some people, but for uh, some people like to idli, afternoon only, they feel hungry. Ilya, long time it takes. So, uh, make your body to you know, uh, used to digest a lot of food. Anyway, fine, fine. Okay, good. Next thing. Midbrain. What is midbrain? Very little part actually. Yeah. Can you see this part? The midbrain actually. Cerebral aqueduct. That white portion. Can you see that white portion? Connects forebrain with midbrain. Okay. Uh, sorry. Forebrain to hindbrain. In center you have your midbrain. They call it as. Uh, here. Lot of. Or four kind of bones. Kind of thing and lobes present. And then you can see. This is called what? A cerebral aqueduct. Okay. That's how forebrain and midbrain is connected with each other. Okay. Midbrain, and then you have a uh, hindbrain. Okay, midbrain and what? Uh, hindbrain. So hindbrain consists of three parts. What are the three parts? Here you have your pons, and here you have your medulla, and then the second largest part. What it is called? What? Cerebellum. So cerebellum, medulla, and pons. So, they are the three parts of what? Uh, hindbrain. Here, what is the function of these things? Midbrain and hindbrain. Okay. Many involuntary actions controlled by midbrain and hindbrain. Functions of midbrain and hindbrain? Involuntary actions. Controlling of what? Involuntary actions. They are listing something. Involuntary action. See, look at that. Our mouth, what is when you see food? Okay. Sometimes, if you think about something also, you salivate. Fine. Now, what are you doing? Okay. Listen. Uh, what are the examples given here? Yeah. Like uh, when you see the food, we salivate. Sometimes when we hear about uh, the food, some kind of food variety, wow, we salivate. Yes or no? All that things are involved or part. What about what? The function of what? Uh, the midbrain and hindbrain together. Okay, it's involuntary actions. Basically, they're what? Uh, the involuntary actions. And then another example: our heart beats without our thinking. Involuntary actions, beating the salivation, okay, and then the beating of heart. Is it clear? And then 
Dig breathing, digestion. Can you understand breathing? What is the uh, breathing rate? You remember how many cycle of breathing per minute? Hmm? Correct. Equal to sixteen per minute. Heart beat rate? Yeah. 72 beats per minute. Can you understand? So, you don't have to think about it. It will happen. Like that, you don't have to. I, I can take uh, 20 idli and I cannot say, hey, another 5 idli I will give. You digest it and give. I cannot say. Well, yeah, it depends actually. So, that's what. All these things are what? Salivation, beating of heart. Respiration rate, digestion of food. Can you understand? So, they are involuntary actions. All of them are what? Involuntary actions. And uh, something they are telling, look at that. Uh, simple reflex actions like change in the size of pupil. Can you understand? So, what does it mean? See, Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it can be because there are respiration where it gets the signal, lungs cannot move. You know that the involuntary organ cannot contract. Lungs cannot contract. Then how? Respiration is regulated. Do you remember the mechanism of inspiration and expiration? Diaphragm contracts. When diaphragm can contract? See, the signal from the brain should go to your... There are muscles here. Muscles can contract. What muscles? These muscles are called what? Intercostal muscles. See, the muscles which are present here. Internal, see, internal intercostal muscle, external intercostal muscle. So, this muscles, brain, this muscles contracts. That's why your thoracic cavity, rib cavity moves. Okay? This is voluntary action. And because of that, what occurs? Your diaphragm. Okay? The signal reaches your diaphragm. Okay? Diaphragm moves faster. Okay, and because of that, all these things are what? Voluntary actions. And that you have to think. Okay, when you're sleeping, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. can you do that? No, but you should be alive. Means, <laughs> means you should be alert. Yeah. Okay, so you think about it, you move all your muscles, then that is the secondary effect actually. Since you do that with your voluntary actions, thinking, and then the respiration rate varies. Of course, these rates are common when you are at resting state. See, even heartbeat. Night or to modu, what is your heartbeat? Enge poido, double poido. Ilya, one fatty go to po. Is that night or the ordering now? Step seri vandu to enago. Go to parma. Vegama step seri vandu to ukaranga. <clears throat> increase side of vigorous activity all your physical activities can change your rate of respiration rate of uh, the heart or the beat when you are at rest don't even you know you are breathing don't even you know your uh, means uh, your heart is pumping sleeping yeah you are at rest you are dreaming common when you are at rest at resting state they call it as what at resting state that is understood in pregnant women it is double you can see more heartbeats okay like that depends upon the conditions it changes okay fine no so many such involuntary actions are in a controlled by midbrain and hindbrain can you understand so, like blood pressure, salivation, vomiting, LMA controlled by medulla. 
okay in which part of the brain medulla oda function is controlling blood pressure salivation vomiting involuntary actions these involuntary actions by medulla and then cerebellum what is the function of cerebellum like activities like walking in a straight line riding a bicycle picking up a pencil all these things are what okay see these are voluntary actions again is that all? all they are not involuntary actions okay all of sudden you cannot walk just like that okay thinking walking in a line riding a bicycle picking up a pencil okay so that's or because of what your hind brain especially called what cerebellum cerebellum is the second largest part of the brain cerebellum is the second largest part of the brain okay so this cerebellum what is called precision precise manner perfect perfect ah nadakkirathu ipo march fast drill normally nama casual ah nadakkirathu drill na oru that rhythm that order that speed clear ellame maintain pannu so all these things based on your common you control move like this like this like this this much of step ahead or behind or whatever is it clear so controlled perfect abdin solran illaya that perfection like eldu modu it should be under control when you are writing when you are drawing can you understand the cerebellum should be very active okay that precise draw correct up and draw everything is it clear again these things are what actually voluntary actions can you understand so voluntary actions okay the voluntary actions of course maintaining the body posture balancing the body all these things basically okay you have to look straight turn this side every day that's because of that cerebellum okay all involuntary actions they just connected with medulla okay and uh, again uh, some special voluntary actions okay maintaining the body posture walking in a straight line the precise function is by coordination controlled from the cerebellum can you understand cerebellum now means this events fail to take place if you are not thinking about it okay fine next the next question is how brain tissues are protected very important thing so what you should know here here some layman terms are given what are given layman terms for example look at that uh bony box what is bony box ah correct skull or cranium okay skull or cranium is the bony box okay how many bones are there how many bones are there bones skull is made up of four pairs four pairs eight bones okay this side four this side four so chet nal nal eighth bone um come put the glues put the otna eppadi irukum appadi da irukum is it clear cranium thani thani edukalam in the piece alla okay fine so bony box da cranium and then balloon layman term balloon what is this balloon called very good second is meninges kaushik are you listening meninges how many layers yes, of yeah kaushik how many layers three very good what are they yes pura matter arachnoid matter and then pia matter can you understand so balloon that's what they are meaning at balloon okay 
and then fluid what is the fluid yeah cerebro spinal fluid csm can you understand so next fourth component brain is protected with all this structure and what else vertebral column or you can say backbone common term is what backbone backbone is what actually the backbone vertebral column the backbone see spinal cord is protected inside the vertebral column spinal cord is protected inside the vertebral column okay can you understand that's how the brain is protected but here they have given only the layman terms you should know the rest like sometimes they may ask what they will do together shock absorption protection maintenance of normal conditions etc is it clear fine now how does see here there are five questions in this paragraph including the title what are they tell me and give me the answer also in this paragraph how does the nervous tissue cause action in this title below this there are writing four or five questions one thing wait wait one by one one by one okay how do animal muscle go very good first question and then how does a muscle cell move see first is what is the difference between first question and second question hmm how muscle the tissue moves second one is how the cell move second question third question how do muscle cell change its shape third question and then this would be means what is the difference between voluntary action and involuntary voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles can you understand so four questions are there and first question means uh, inside four question the first question how does the nervous tissue causes action tell me the answer for the first question look at that nervous tissue collects information which part yes which part collects the information a nervous tissue neuron a in neuron which part collects the information dendrites the very good second thing it sends around the body nervous tissue all neurons together collects the information and then the neurons sends it to the body and then information process and then brain makes the decision based on the information it receives and convey the decisions to the muscles muscles causes the action can you understand this is how nervous tissue causes action collects transmits process comments make the muscle to respond can you understand is it clear about the first question oh you will actually first question fine second question how do muscles move okay listen do you remember the first one nervous tissue comes nerve ending what is the gap in between i this is muscle cell synapse is between two neurons synapse is between two neurons hey yeah, correct you are right fine the two neurons it is actually non neuronal cell a uh, neuromuscular junction acetylcholine released and acetylcholine like uh, is received by the receptor in the muscle cell and then uh, atp dependent pathway activated 
and then muscle can energy it gets energy muscle moves it's a long process actually anyway that you will be seeing in class 11 only this mechanism but only if it receives the command from the brain when the muscle move it should receive the command the impulse from the brain and then unless it cannot move yes or no uh, if a person is paralyzed person is paralyzed he cannot move sir partially paralyzed because signal even though he thinks he cannot move because no impulse the connection is lost is it clear so once the information impulse is transmitted from the nervous tissue muscle move simple answer right now next question how a single cell muscle cell how it moves muscle cell change their shape look at that cellular components ah there are some special protein cells muscle cell have some special proteins what are the proteins what are the protein kaushik do you know the name of the proteins they are contractile proteins see thick thick myosin and then thin actin what are the contractile protein myosin and actin can you understand see myosin like this very thick and actins are very thin okay is it clear so thin actin thick myosin they are the contractile proteins okay they move something called what sliding over mechanism myosin is like this actin moves like this on myosin okay for example uh, this is the myosin this is the actin okay myosin stays as such actin moves over it that is actually called what the tau contractile protein that's how muscle cell move can you understand if one muscle cell move and many muscle cell moves and then muscle tissue moves is it clear fine and last question voluntary muscle involuntary muscle yeah voluntary muscles are under the control of brain of course involuntary muscles also here thinking you will not here autonomously yeah you don't know to control you cannot control it depends upon the physiology normal conditions it is control is it clear right so that's about our nervous system control and coordination system in humans okay and uh, in animals okay maybe in the next class we will see how it is there in plants okay thank you koshik venkat thank you venkat oh already they left ah <laughs> they are so happy next you have physics class right see all the subjects portion over up physics chemistry biology in your class 10 science physics not over chemistry who is coming there for chemistry chemistry, chemistry?